Good morning everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing great. Um, so today is a very exciting day. We are getting our Christmas tree. Yes, that is right. In November, we are getting our tree. Will, how excited are you? I mean, this is the earliest I've ever had to do this. It's a bit, for me personally, I think we should do it next weekend. But, uh, it's something to do, isn't it? Exactly. We've never ever put any decorations up um, this early before, <laughs> literally ever. But I think as we're turning right, as the rest of the world is doing, we're just wanting that festive joy a little bit earlier to help everyone get through this period as happily as possible. Yeah. Yeah. So we're on our way now. Um, we pick up a tree and. A yeah, we're picking we're up decorations. Doing stuff. We're doing decorations and a tree. Ooh, look at all this newspaper. It's disgusting. Ugh. Ooh. That's, it. That's gross. What is, why is it everywhere? Why? 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 Okay, and then we're going to have some mulled wine, put some Christmas music on, and decorate the tree, which is very exciting. Also, I'm wearing purple lipstick today, which I never, ever, ever do. Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Mousse. It was part of the freebies from Boots. Um, so I thought, you know what? I'm wearing my purple jumper and my purple scarf. I'll wear a purple lip. Bit different, but it's a special occasion. We're picking up our tree. Snazzy. Trip. Snazzy. Um, so we're just five minutes away and yay, so excited. So we'll get the decorations first and then we'll get the tree. So we will bring you along. Hope everyone's feeling festive and in the Christmas spirit for this video. Enjoy watching. Oh, the rain, the rain. Oh well, look, there's no, plant yeah, pots anyway. as well, hun. Do you want to know why Scotland's the garden is section. You love spending money, don't you? Beautiful. Oh, look, we've got a candle. A Christmas candle. Look at the crackers. Oh, that reindeer. Do you want reindeer? I don't know, but all of this is so cute. Oh dear. We don't know what tree to get. We might just get this Nordman fir. We've, we've been told that the Nordman fir is good. Um, but because we can't see them, because they're in the packages. We don't really know whether that's a risk or not. I haven't done a real tree in years. So that one's seven, eight foot. This Norway spruce is one that we don't want because apparently you lose all your leaves. Oh dear, things are going everywhere. I think you have to get one of these as well. We're not very skilled at this guys. We just haven't a clue. Literally don't have a clue. It looks a bit scrawny. I think this is the one we're going for then. We're gonna have to get a stand as well. Is that a big enough stand? Yeah. Let's have a little look. Yeah, that will go in. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah? Cool. Okay, let's hope that this one looks nice then. Woo! That was exhausting, wasn't it? Considering we are in lockdown, there are way too many people in that shop. It's exhausting it for got... you. I had to pick up the bloody tree. We've so got heavy. it! The tree is in! Exhausting. Woo! Like, I'm having a breakfast yet. Oh yeah. Oh, I got us a coffee each though. Nice coffee. coffee. Yeah, we've got our tree, which is so exciting. We actually went to the range. Um, bad idea considering that it was horrifically busy and I felt very uncomfortable and so did Will. Um, everyone's just scrambling for the Christmas decor. It was all very, ugh, considering we were in lockdown. Um, but we got there quite early. I thought we were going to be like too late. But yeah, was it was, like, it was like when we left, there were like, how many people do you think there were in that queue? 30 odd, 40? Yeah, no, more than no I'd say 50. There's about 50 people just in the 30, queue. No, 40, no, 50. Right, no, I would no, say 50. 60, maybe, make it 60, you know? <laughs> oh, I've got a hair in my mouth, I don't want to touch my mouth because we've been in the shop. What? 
what's happened? I had my mouth. Oh, right. But I'm going to touch. I have antibody, but you know, we need to actually properly wash before we can touch our mouths. Yeah, so very, very busy. We did go, what time did we actually go? We probably went in for about quarter to 11 and we didn't have to queue. By the time we left about half 11, um, there was a massive, massive, massive queue. But we only went for decor. Like I was gonna go to a garden center or something for um, the actual tree, but then there was trees there. They were good value. There was no one squabbling around the trees to get them. So we thought, yeah, why not? So I'm hoping that it's gonna pay off and it's a nice tree when we actually put it up. We don't know what it looks like because it's in a net. But I'm hoping that it's gonna be a good one. So fingers crossed. Um, we've got some lovely ball balls, which I'm very excited to put up. We've got some lights. I don't think we needed too much else, did we? But I'll show you what we got when we get home. But did you enjoy that? Yeah, I did. It was great. It was good getting well, all the Christmas. It was, it was right. scary. The start was a bit bad too because OTT. you went in there and then you went all over the shop. It was like you're buying random stuff. We were there to pick up Christmas stuff and then you were looking at clocks for the wall. Yeah. One of the things we did pick up when we went to the range was these, I was gonna say Costa. Oh, Starbucks Cafe Latte Merry Coffee. Uh, iced coffee. Mm -mm -mm. You're getting in the Christmas spirit. Cheers. Gonna be interesting with Tids. It is gonna be interesting because Tids is just going to get so excited about all these ball balls and the Christmas tree. I don't know what she's going to do with herself. So we'll have to see how it goes. We might have to take her out of the room whilst we're putting the tree up. But we'll have a look. We'll see. I will see you when we're home. Uh-oh. She's spotted it. She's spotted the tree. Uh-oh. What is this weird green monster? What is it? <laughs> hey? She's highly interested in what's happening here, aren't you? What is it? Are you loving it? Oh, she's interested more in this blooming stringy stuff. She just wants to eat everything at the moment. Oh, Tiddles, no. Please, no. <laughs> uh, are you already going crazy for the tree, baby girl? It's just too much happening for her right now. She doesn't know what to do. She's eating pine leaves like to know tomorrow. Um, right then, so let me show you. This is the kind of theme we're going for with our tree. We've got this pink sofa in this front room. So we're going for the pinky vibes. We've also got a lot of black in here. So we've got some black ones and I wanted to try and keep it a bit more gold than silver um, because we've got like our gold, um, flower pots and stuff like that. So these are the new ball balls. They're all pretty decent prices, like 129. I mean, you can get like 12 for a pound or we got some specialist ones treat ourselves, but these are, most of them are about one pound 29. That one's a bit more expensive, two pound 29, one pound 29. I really like them. So I'm hoping they match with the other, oh no. No, no, this is where it could get a bit dangerous. I think I'm gonna have to put her into the other room. <laughs> Don't you dare, they could smash tids. Honey, no, they're not for you. She's more interested, oh God. <laughs> this could go terribly wrong. No, right, we're gonna put her in the other room because she's now going to think that this is literally Christmas right today because she just wants to play with everything and everything. <laughs> um, so we obviously got our tree which I've shown you it is a a Nordman fir tree because apparently they um, did a bit of research and the Nordman fir have needle holding without water so I'm guessing that is they keep their pine uh, their leaf whatever they're called <laughs> Needles, there we go. Needle holding, keep your needles. Um, and their fragrance is tip top and the needle softness is tip top as well. So obviously we got those ball balls. We also got some string lights. These were about 14, 15 quid. 
their inside and outdoor use, which is good. B, I got two candles because they were only two pounds. I just needed to make the most of being in a cheap shop because around here there are no cheap shops. Like these in a shop around here would be like 20 quid at least. So I bought them. This is our like pink vibes with the sofa behind me. The baubles on. Will picked up this little cozy Christmas candle for three quid. It's the most wonderful time, wonderful time of the year. Let's have a little, ooh, yeah, it smells good. So that is super cute. I like that. I got a couple of rolls of wrapping paper because I have a, a couple bits, but I thought these were really nice. This is letters to Santa and then some more minimalistic um, trees and stuff. And these were both £1.50 each, which were bargains. I got these for my dad because he loves wine gums. I didn't I get as many presents as, well, I didn't really get any presents. But I always get people um, chocolate money just as a little, like, chuck it in the bag or whatever, because it's always good to have chocolate money. So I got a few of them. And then these, I'm all about the sparkles and the glitter. So I got some gift bags as well, which were only £3.60 for these three. Um, so... I say that the range has got some lovely stuff at incredible prices. These are my grandpa's baubles. They're too big and they are red to go on this Christmas tree, but I'm just gonna put them in the other room because we have to have them out, don't we? Um, what else? I've, I've got some random stuff in my little Christmas box. I don't know where on earth. I mean, my mum might have given me these last year. She likes to get me little bits and bobs like that. Yeah, these are my grandpas. Oh, I forgot about this. My, my nan and granddad had this really cute tablecloth, which is quite cheesy, but it's so cute because it's theirs. They're no longer with us anymore. So I had that with the um, the napkins as well. So yeah, it's... Will's watching the rugby at the moment. I think it's the rugby or the football, I don't really know. I think it's, yeah, rugby. So... I kind of want to do the tree with him because I think it'll be more special. So I'm going to wait and see. Um, oh God, Tiddles hates not being in the same room as me, bless her. So she's just pouring at the door. You all right? You want to come and join in the party? You want to join in the Christmas party? We're going to have a bit of lunch. I'm going to wait for Will to do the watch the rugby and then we're going to decorate the Christmas tree. Yeah, I'm so happy. I've added in the decor that we got from last year and they all, this theme just goes so well. I'm loving it. We're calling it the rosé theme. <laughs> okay, so I've just opened one of my other Christmas bags from last year. This is my grandpa's bag that I've kept Christmas stuff in, which is so cute. But I found all of this, so I so didn't need to buy wrapping paper. I'm really annoyed that I did that. Look at all of these things. I don't know how old they are, but these were um, my grandpa's. Um, and this is just such cute wrapping paper. But heaven knows how long he had this for. And he had a whole bag full of bows as well. So after he, after he passed away, we went, through, obviously, go through everything. And we kept, well, I kept a load of his Christmas stuff. So I completely forgot though, and I so didn't need to buy anything. I mean, it's never gonna get wasted. We can just carry it on till next year. I've got Christmas cards from him. Bless him, he literally stocked up. <laughs> We've got this, 10p. What costs 10p these days? I wish I knew how long. Oh, that's the timer for the chicken. I wish I knew how how old these were, but Tempe, man, that must be quite old. Yeah, I just got loads of lovely Christmas cards from him. I mean, I probably wouldn't have picked these kind of Christmas cards, but he picked them and he liked them, so it's a little bit of Gramps um, being sent around at Christmas. And look at this. Honestly, honestly, she just tries to go into everything and explore everywhere. This is 
is Tiddles' first ever Christmas. So she is very excited. We are just loving going through all this Christmas stuff. It's the best thing ever. This is like the one thing that I actually did buy uh, last year. Doesn't um, fit in with my pink theme in here, so it will go in the other room. But how cute. Santa, please stop here, please. She's coming out. Here it goes. really nice that's nicer than I thought it was gonna be check her out oh that's lovely she's a beauty. yay she's a beauty oh she's so much nicer she's quite chunky she's quite chunky yes this is good yeah I like fat ones Tids where are you hun you're gonna need to move wow it is quite thick at the bottom Whoa, this is a lot bigger than I thought. Oh, I love it! Right. That's already annoyed me how tiny it's got everywhere. So I'm actually super impressed. I didn't know because we got it from um, the range. I didn't really, not many people were getting them. I didn't really know how good it was going to look, but I'm really impressed and I love it. I mean, it's a little bit wonky at the moment, but we're gonna zhuzh it all up and sort it all out. Um, but yeah, I'm actually quite glad that we didn't get the 7 to 8 footer now because it's perfect. I'm so happy. I'm so excited, honestly. I cannot wait. We're just going to have a bit of lunch because we both haven't really eaten. We've had an apple all day, so we really need to eat. Um, and then we're going to do it. It's so beautiful. And here's the first needle that she's chewing. Tiddles, honestly, you're going to choke yourself. And I don't even know how to stop this because... If she's going to eat flipping needles the whole time, like, it's going to be impossible <laughs> to stop her doing it. So it didn't get off to a great star. I tried to snip the top off so that the star could fit on, and I snipped into my finger. So that is absolutely fab. And it really stings, but hey-ho, we move. Let's put the lights on. We move. <laughs> Let's put the lights on first before the uh, ball falls. It's always do like that. Why? It's obviously a rookie at putting. I never do this. <gasps> Yay! Oh, look how cute it is! I've already smashed one. Which one did you smash? Oh, one of those. Yeah, this one. Oh, we only had two of them. So we've got one cut finger and one smashed ball ball and we've only put two on. Will's such a novice, he doesn't know how heavy <laughs> ball balls are. And he just kind of put it right at the end and it flopped off straight away. Yeah, I think I will do it <laughs> from now on. Try. <laughs> you tried. Round two. Round two. Put them right up to the end of it. Where's the scissors? There we go. Is that okay? I can't believe you smashed them. Oh my god. Oh my god. That just came off the end. Will! That just came off the end. That just came off the end. I literally was just holding it like that. RIP, another one that Will smashed. That was a really pretty one, loved it. Right, we've decided that Will's going to watch me do it. That's the second one and he's broke. That was a beautiful one. Mm. R.I.P. Well, we've still got one of those ones. Oh, well, we've got one of the other ones. No. No, that was the only one. Right, you happy there? I'm going to watch you do the tree. Thank you. You crack on that. You get it? Yeah, you go for it. Over. Push it right down so that it's secure. Okay, so we've worked out a little system. We've got some baubles without strings. So Will's cutting the strings and dyeing the baubles, and then I'm placing them on the tree. We've got our system sorted. High five! I'm just sneezing and stuff. 
stuff, so I don't know if you want to high-five me. Oh my god, do you actually think you are allergic to the tree? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Because uh, you haven't been like this since you've moved here. No. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so it's now just the star to go on. Ready? Three, two, one. It's Christmas! It's Christmas! Yay! The stars are cute, aren't they? Yeah, it looks amazing. Sorry I smashed two of them. Do you want to go for a more wine at half time? We'll go in a bit. So guys, this is the final product. I am so happy with it. Hey, the little star at the top looks good. Sacrifices were made. Okay, so we bought these for my dad who is obsessed with wine gums and will couldn't wait. Literally this evening he's opened. What have you opened, hun? You've opened the White pack. chocolate money, and now you've opened the wine gums, yeah. and both of them were presents for other people. We've now got no presents left under the tree, and it's only day one. We're in November. I don't know about anyone else, but if anyone else buys food for Christmas presents, I think we're going to have to buy the food presents like the day before Christmas Eve, because... This can't keep happening. We can't keep buying wine gums and then we'll have a little midnight feast alert. But I think I'm going to leave the vlog here. Oh, I'll put you up on the kitchen roll. And you can see the tree, perfect. I think I'm going to leave it here um, because we're gonna probably do plenty more Christmas content. Um, seeing as I'm kind of doing Vlogmas for a week four a week, not seven, we're doing four. So it's like a half of vlogmas kind of thing. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed coming with us and experiencing the chop of the finger, two smashed baubles, but the end product was a lovely tree and it's probably my favorite that I've ever had. So I'm very happy. I think we're going to get some food, probably a bit of a takeaway and cozy up by the tree. <laughs> Um, but thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you head to the range because of this video um, to get your Christmas stuff. They have some beautiful stuff. But top tip, go early in the day because there was a queue when we came out. Right, I'm going to wrap this up and see you in my next video. Bye.